And the Lord spake to Moses and said, Speak thou to the sons of Israel, when a soul that is a man hath done sin by ignorance, and hath done anything of all the commandments of the Lord, which he commanded that those shall not be done, thou shalt follow these ordinances. If a priest that is anointed hath done sin, making the people to trespass, he shall offer for his sin a calf without whim to the Lord, and he shall bring it to the door of the tabernacle of witnessing before the Lord, and he shall put his hand on the head thereof, and he shall offer it to the Lord, and he shall take up of the blood of the calf, and shall bring it into the tabernacle of witnessing. And when he hath dipped his finger into the blood, he shall sprinkle it seven times before the Lord against the veil of the sanctuary, and he shall put of the same blood on the corners of the altar of incense most acceptable to the Lord, which altar is in the tabernacle of witnessing. Soothly, soothly he shall pour all the other blood into the fundament of the altar of burnt sacrifice in the entering of the tabernacle, and he shall offer for his sin the inner fatness of the calf, as well it that covereth the entrails, as all things that be within. Two little reins in the call which is on them, beside Ilium, and the fatness of the maw with the little reins, as it is offered of the calf of the sacrifice of peaceable things, and the priest shall burn those things on the altar of burnt sacrifice. Soothly, the priest shall bear out of the tents the skin and all the flesh with the head and the feet and entrails and the dung and the body that is left into a clean place where ashes be wont to be poured out and he shall burn those things upon the heap of wood the which he shall be the which shall be burnt <coughs> in the places of ashes poured out that if all the company of the sons of Israel knoweth not and doeth by unknowing that that is against the commandment of the Lord and afterward understandeth his sin, he shall offer a calf for that sin, and he shall bring the calf to the door of the tabernacle, and the elder men of the people shall set hands on the head thereof before the Lord. And when the calf is offered in the sight of the Lord, the priest that is anointed shall bear of his blood into the tabernacle of witnessing. And when he hath dipped his finger, he shall sprinkle the blood seven times against the veil, and he shall put of the same blood in the horns of the altar, which is before the Lord in the tabernacle of witnessing. Soothly he shall pour the blood that leaveth beside the fundament of the altar of burnt sacrifice, which is in the door of the tabernacle of witnessing. And he shall take all the fatness thereof and shall burn it on the altar. And he shall do all this, uh, and he shall do also of this calf as he did before of the tother. And when the priest shall pray for them, the Lord shall be merciful for sooth he shall bear out that calf, and he shall burn it, as he did also the former calf, for it is for the sin of the multitude. If a prince sinneth, and doeth by ignorance one thing of many, which is forbidden in the law of the Lord, and afterward understandeth his sin, he shall offer to the Lord a sacrifice, a goat buck, without whim, and he shall set his hand on the head thereof, and when he hath offered, in the, offered it in the place where burnt sacrifice is wont to be slain, before the Lord, for it is for sin. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood of sacrifice for sin, and he shall touch with his bloody finger the corners of the altar of burnt sacrifice, and he shall pour the blood that leaveth at the fundament thereof. Soothly, the priest shall burn the inner fatness above the altar, as it is wont to be done in the sacrifice of peaceable things, and the priest shall pray for, pray for him and for his sin, and it shall be forgiven to him that if a soul that is a singular man of the people of the land sinneth by ignorance, that he do any of these thi anything of these that be forbidden in the law of the Lord, and trespasseth, and knoweth his sin, he shall offer a she-goat without whim, and he shall set his hand upon the head of the sacrifice which is for sin, and he shall offer it in the place of burnt sacrifice, and the priest shall take of the blood thereof upon his finger, and he shall touch the horns of the altar of burnt sacrifice, and he shall pour the blood that is left at the fountain of the altar. Swiftly, he shall take away all the inner fatness, as it is wont to be done away of the sacrifice of peaceable things, and he shall burn it on the altar into odor of sweetness to the Lord, and the priest shall pray for him, and it shall be forgiven him. Swiftly, if he offereth of little beasts a sacrifice for sin, 
that is a sheep without whim. He shall put his hand on the head thereof, and he shall offer it in the place where the beast of burnt sacrifices be wont to be slain. And the priest shall take of the blood thereof in his finger, and he shall touch therewith the horns of the altar of burnt sacrifice, and he shall pour the blood that is left at the fountain of the altar, and he shall do away with all the inner fatness, as the inner fatness of the ram that is offered for peaceable things is wont to be done away. And the priest shall burn it upon the altar of incense of the Lord, and the priest shall pray for him and for his sin, and it shall be forgiven to him.